You're watching Good Day Siouxland with Nick Wilson and meteorologist Ethan Foreman. From KCAU 9 News, this is Good Day Siouxland. Good morning, it's 645 on this Friday morning. I'm Nick Wilson. And I'm Maggie Warren, in for Ethan. Well, the weekend's almost here, and based on those weather conditions, it's kind of something to get excited about. Yeah, looking like a great weekend. Not going to see any snow like we saw last weekend. You can see some quiet conditions as we take a look out on the North Star Community Credit Union camera out in Cherokee. Very quiet morning out there, not seeing much, if any, activity at the moment. That should start to pick up over the next couple hours as we see that sun start to rise and we'll see those temperatures start to rise too into the 50s through our afternoon hours those mid to upper 50s that range for those high temperatures today and then staying pretty nice for those football games that final week of sports zone football action tonight as those playoff games start to wrap up looking at temperatures in the 40s for that game of the week out at Spirit Lake versus West Lions. So going to be some great football weather out there tonight. So enjoy yourself tonight and stay warm. Thanks, Maggie. Well, do you know a Siouxland woman who is making a difference in her community, setting a great example for others, or serving as an amazing role model? If you do, you should nominate her to be one of our KCAU 9 Remarkable Women for 2024. To do that, just head over to our website, SiouxlandProud.com, and click on Nominate a Remarkable Woman under the Contest tab. Well, in other news, gas prices are continuing on a downward trend, regardless of the conflict in the Middle East. The national average price for a gallon of regular gas is down to $3.43 this morning. According to AAA, the average price is $3.44 a gallon in South Dakota. In Nebraska, the price is $3.33 a gallon. And in Iowa, the average for gas is $3.15 a gallon this morning. In other news, some kids are living proof of good parenting. That includes the younger members of the Chow family from Sioux Falls. On Halloween, they encountered a house with a chair out front holding a sign that said, Help Yourself. Problem is, someone, helped, someone had helped himself to the entire bucket. The Chow kids decided to leave behind some of their own candy so others would be able to grab a treat. Wait, are we getting candy? I'm giving them candy. I yeah. feel bad. You're supposed to have a fun time or have fun with your friends or family. He put candy down, so I decided to do that too, to not be a brat and um, be nice. Just so other kids could get candy and s instead of just going to the chair and not having any candy. The kids' parents say they're proud of their actions from Halloween night. And meanwhile, with Halloween behind us, Thanksgiving will be here before you know it. Feeding South Dakota is getting ready for the holiday. This month, they plan to give away 6,000 traditional Thanksgiving meals to families in need across the Rushmore State. They say the feast is a tradition and everyone deserves the chance to celebrate. The holidays, I think, are really focused around food, especially here in the Midwest um, and a lot of cultures. And so being able to provide that Thanksgiving meal and a holiday meal as we look into December as well for our guests and for our neighbors is really, really important. This year, the aid is first come, first serve, and it'll utilize a drive through system for pickup. Well, now it's time to meet today's stray of the day. Every day we share a pet picked up by Sioux City Animal Adoption and Rescue who's waiting to go home. That's right, and this is Chance, a one to two year old male silver tabby cat. He was found on the 1700 block of Grandview Boulevard. The rescue says he's an outgoing and friendly guy with a lot of personality. Chance is available for adoption now. If you've lost your pet, looking to adopt, or you'd like to sponsor a pet for adoption, you can visit the rescue's website. That's at SiouxCityAnimalRescue.com. Chance is such a cute cat. <laughs> yeah, such a cute guy. He makes such a good cat for someone. And he might like some of these yeah. temperatures that we're going to see, too. Yeah. Speaking of chance, no chances of rain really in the extended forecast. As we take a look out on our Port Neal Welding Ho-Chunk Center camera, Still a quiet morning across downtown Sioux City, although that activity is starting to pick up a bit. 
already at 50 in Tecama, 47 there in Mapleton and West Point. Still sitting at 43 in Sioux City and those low to mid 40s up to our north, even 39 in Sheldon. So a bit cooler in some spots, but also looking cloudy and we'll continue to see that cloud cover. Maybe a sprinkle or two through our afternoon. We'll see those clouds start to clear out though through our Friday and into our Saturday morning. However, still sticking with those partly cloudy skies through most of our weekend, although looking at potentially some more sunshine for our Saturday afternoon. Then we see a bit more cloud cover develop for our Sunday. Looking pretty nice out there for our weekend, though. Those temperatures here right now sitting in the 20, 18 to 20 degrees warmer in most areas right now as we do look at those temperature changes. And then staying warm, those temperatures staying pretty warm through our weekend. 56 for Friday, 57 for tomorrow. And even those mid 60s back by our Sunday and don't forget daylight savings time is Sunday. You'll want to um, turn your clocks back an hour Saturday night before you head to bed. Make sure those are set for Sunday when we do fall back an hour and then those temperatures 61 Monday and looking pretty decent into our nine on nine, the rest of the nine on nine forecast looking at Plenty of sunshine, but still dealing with some rain chances and temperatures falling a bit towards the end of the nine on nine forecast, looking at 48 and 49 next Thursday and Friday and then a cooler weekend for us next weekend, but still seeing some of that sunshine after we see a couple minor shower chances Tuesday into Wednesday, Nick. Thanks, Maggie. Well, now we turn to sports, where it all came down to the final round as two Siouxland High School volleyball squads made it to the title match in their respective classes at the Iowa State Tournament. Anthony Mitchell and Noah Sacco have the highlights from those championship matches right here in your morning sports wrap. Good morning, Siouxland. Western Christian and Hinton are our last two Iowa High School volleyball teams remaining at the state championships in Coralville. Our own Noah Sacco had the scoop on both matches that took place yesterday. Well, Anthony, the moment has arrived. Championship day here in Coralville for the IGHSU State Volleyball Tournament. And we've got a pair of Siouxland contenders vying for titles. Three seed Western Christian aiming to go back to back for state championships, this time in Class 3A, while two seed Hinton aims for its first ever crown in Class 2A. Let's start with the Wolfpack. Class 3A newcomer Western Christian storming out of the state final smoke for the third straight year. Chance at back-to-back -back titles in two different classes. One more team to beat in top dog Mount Vernon. Here we go. Back and forth battle in the first set. Bentley Bleak catches the back line for the kill. Wolf back up 14-13. They fight in front towards set point. Kiana Wynia using the feathery touch and it falls. Senior with 13 kills. Set one to the Wolf Pack 25-23. Mustangs have an answer in set two. Sydney Huber sends it right back to the Wolf Pack. No return. One of the Mustangs six blocks. Mount Vernon goes on to take set two, 25-22. Thrills continue in set three. Wolfpack battle back from five to nothing to tie it in 19s. Scarlet Winterfeld comes up with a kill. She also had 13 kills. Wolfpack with the one-point lead. Another punch incoming on set point. Shayna Van Dyken brings down the hammer. Senior led the way with 20 kills. The pack takes set three, 25-22. One set away from a title now. Mustangs not going down without a fight. Chloe Meester gets the point. Louisville commit with the game-high 25 kills, but the Wolfpack held the 20. 24 to 18 lead into match point. Van Dyken to end it. The final dagger. It's over. Western Christian downs Mount Vernon 3 to 1 for the 3A state championship. A 2A title last year, then 3A title this year. Program's 19th overall crown and a record number 14 titles under head coach Tammy Verbeek. Euphoria for the powerhouse that keeps on churning. This team, this program, we have so much grit. We come with so much grit and so much perseverance, and we work together all the time, and we push each other so hard every day in practice. Is chills, tears, um, so much joy coming out of our hearts. It's like the happiest moment of my life. Like, I, it's just so fun just being, being able to be a part of this. Two years in a row especially, like, it's just awesome. I thought I'd never forget number 13. Um, that was so, such an epic, iconic win. And now number 14 is going to be just as special in my heart. A whole new group, young crew, intermixing new kids in, moving up to 3A. I'll never forget that. Another one for the record books. 
Class 2 Ways Day title match, hidden in their first ever championship appearance, rematch versus the team who knocked them out last year in unbeaten Dyke New Hartford. Set point of set one, Avery Burgad, no net violation. Point Wolverines, they take set one, 25-14. But here comes Hitton, closing the gap to two points late in set two. Bailey Boovey powers it to the panels. Match high, 22 kills for the sophomore phenom, 23-22 DNH. Wolverines wouldn't let it slip on set point. Louisville commit Peyton Peterson smokes down the kill. Team high, 20 for her. They take the set two, 25-23. Set three, Blackhawks trailing by five and needing some magic. Boovey gets them closer with the tap, and Carlene Hicklin later keeping them alive on match point with the kill, 24-16. But just like all night, DNH had the response right after Peterson powers the kill to end it. That would do it. Hitton falls in straight sets to a 50-0. Dyke New Hartford team in straight sets, 3-0. Blackhawks end the year at 32-2 as state runners up and with plenty to be proud from an incredible run. So happy and proud of our season and what my teammates and I have accomplished. I mean, we set a goal at the beginning of the season that we're going to make it to that championship and that's exactly what we did. The support that we get, like you saw the fans, the whole stage was, the, everyone was there for us. The little kids look up to us like we're big sisters to them and we just are role models to them. We've talked all season. That this is where they wanted to be, you know, to get a shot back at them. Uh, it didn't go the way we wanted, but uh, that takes nothing away from the season we've had. Uh, we'll always be a family. That's going to be a wrap for the IGHSAU State Volleyball Tournament. From Coralville, Noah Sacco, KCAU 9 Sports. And that'll be all for sports. Have a good day, Siouxland. Now let's take a look at this morning's top stories. What you need to know before you go. Well, there may be a bit of a warm-up on the way, but another sign of the upcoming winter will take effect Sunday morning at 2 a.m. local time. As daylight savings time comes to an end, that means clocks will need to fall back an hour when you get up that morning if they haven't automatically reset themselves. But local fire departments are also highlighting this time of transition. South Sioux City Fire Chief Doug Koopman says this is the perfect opportunity to check the batteries in your home's smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. You always want to have a fresh battery. Most of them are tied in with the electrical system of your, your home, but those that aren't, if they're older homes, uh, they rely on that battery source, and so therefore um, it, it, that it almost guarantees you always have a working smoke detector. If you don't have a smoke detector in your home, Chief Koopman recommends changing that by visiting your local fire station. And meanwhile, with the Iowa caucuses now just a couple months away, GOP presidential candidates are continuing to campaign in Siouxland. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis will be in Monona County this morning, meeting with voters in Onawa, Iowa. He'll be at the Onawa Veterans Museum at 203 12th Street. Doors open at 1115, and the event starts at 1145. Well, finally, some good news for your Friday morning. We have a happy ending to a story that we brought you earlier this week about a local family whose car was stolen just one day after it was purchased. Sioux City Police tell us the car has been recovered. We're told the 2012 red Mitsubishi Outlander was located and has been safely returned to owner Audrea Jacobson. The vehicle was stolen on Halloween after it was left running outside while Jacobson grabbed her phone from her house. Police say Jacobson actually saw the vehicle four blocks from her house and reported it to the authorities. The Outlander and the wheelchair inside the vehicle were both recovered with no damage. One last look at the weather. We're in for a pretty nice weekend, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Not going to see any of that snow like we saw last weekend. Looking at a very nice weekend, actually 56 for today, 57 for our Saturday, even into the mid 60s by Sunday after we fall back an hour Saturday night into Sunday morning. Temperatures holding in that near to slightly above seasonal range through much of next week. Then we get some small shower chances and temperatures fall back just a bit just below our average for this time of year and just a touch cooler into next weekend. But overall, a great looking night on nine forecast there, Nick. Yeah, next weekend, maybe a little chilly, but this weekend's nice. And even the start of next week, not too yeah. bad. Yeah, it's really nice that we're not going to see that snow again, as I've mentioned that we saw last weekend. So four inches of snow here in Sioux City last weekend. So definitely going to be some much welcomed relief this weekend. Yeah, not looking for much snow, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, thanks for watching. See us back here at 11.30 for the Midday Show. 